Welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today, we are joined by the one and only Josh from Trailblazer. What's going on, Custom Offsets audience? How are you guys doing? Josh, I, it's been a hot minute since we've had you on a video. Yeah, you know? it has been. Yeah. It's been a little I'm while. I'm glad to be back. I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to doing some of these rigs on here because I think some of them might be more <laughs> geared maybe towards the off-road market. Maybe? Exactly, All exactly. Right. So if you guys aren't familiar with Trailblazer, of course, they are our friends over in the off-road world. They're about all things overland and off-road, all that good stuff. And maybe they like a little bit more tire than like a 33 on a 26. Little meat know? on the bones. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back with another episode of From the Gallery. And this time we're rating your gallery builds that are under $3,500. So here's the rule. Wheels, tires, and a suspension kit of some sort for under 3,500 bucks. So I'm that's, pretty excited about this. That's a pretty one. good deal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to do that in today's market, especially with all the price increases, but it is still possible. So Thanks. before we get into that, um, quick call out here. If you guys want a chance for your builds to be featured, you're gonna wanna add those to the gallery. You could do that at customoffsets.com forward slash add. It's that simple. Or if you have an off-road rig, Trailbolt also has a gallery. You can add it there. So Very true. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, so. big tires, literal wheels, trailboltoffroad.com forward slash gallery. Bam, look at that. All right, Josh, let's get right into it. Our first one here is a 1996 AM General Hummer. So nice. this is uh, about as authentic military as they come. Yeah. Uh, Anthem Off-Road Liberties in a 20 by nine plus 18, Kanadi Mudhogs in a 39 by 13 and a half with a two inch leveling kit. Hmm. I want this thing. That is pretty cool. For no Olive other drab, reason. Yeah, black OD, wheels. black wheels, yeah. wood like gating on the side. It's got I the just, whole box in the back. That's what I'm saying. I just want this thing because it would be cool to like go to church on Sunday and you know. Yeah, well, or you know, maybe throw a bed rack in there and a rooftop tent and See? a bunch of overlanding gear and go hit the trails in the northern woods of Wisconsin. Exactly. All while getting there at 40 miles an hour and some <laughs> creature comforts of well, at least he's got aftermarket seats in there. Yeah, I mean, at least he's not on a steel bucket, right? Other yeah. than that, there's nothing fancy about this interior. Yeah. It's got the pull knobs for the lights. It's got the floor shifter. I think it is an auto though, huh? It looks like it's automatic. Could be, yeah. Wow. Probably has maybe the Allison transmission in it. Could be. Yeah. Could be. But that is what you would define as function over form right Correct. there. Look at the doors. They're just like steel panels. I love that. <laughs> that there's no cool. like inner door card or anything. It's just steel. Yeah. With a latch. It's great. Just good old old school stuff. Just don't call it an H2. No, 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 no. They, people get big mad about that. So a yeah. uh, couple of notes here. It's a stock 89 Humvee with a uh, two inch spring spacer. Uh, it's got Chrysler Pacific and some minivan seats. Um, they are pretty comfortable. I've actually sat in one of those before. <laughs> <laughs> Light bars, brush guard, um, new paint, custom roll up curtain, and two, new two man top. The wheels fit mm. nice. Yes, they do. So let's rate this thing on a scale one to 10, one being not so hot, 10 being super duper awesome. Are you mm. ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, seven. 9.125. Whoa! <laughs> That's nine and an eighth, if you're wondering. That's, uh, that's so true. I was a, uh, I, I did a little bit of mechanical engineer uh, back in uh, high school. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? What are you not doing? You know, what are you doing? You know, I was thinking not to call it an H2, but what I was actually trying to say is not to call it a, H1, it's a, it's not even a Hummer. It's, it's a, technically an H, uh, HHMWV. Yes. Um, what am I trying to think of? It's a, it's a, it's a. Humvee? That's it. Yeah, HM. Yes. That's what I meant to say. Not to call it a Hummer, but yeah. to call it an. Humvee. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Which is, actually isn't even like H-U-M-V-E. It's like H-M, uh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm with you, I'm yeah. with you. I, don't, I think for this thing, it's cool. I dig it a lot. Obviously, on the budget, I think he did a really good job. A strut mm -hmm. spacer you can pick up for a couple hundred bucks. So, um, yeah. dig the wheel and tire package. Looks super good. And like you said, I think it's just a great little, like, weekend weekend lander type Yeah, rig, I mean, this you know? thing's got a personality to it that says, get the <laughs> out of my way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. just like, I drive a Humvee. I can go anywhere. Yep. Don't try to follow me. Yep. Badass. Exactly. I like it. Exactly. All right. Up next, we've got a 2015 Ford F-150. This one's on TIS 547s and a 22 by 12. Uh, Gladiator X Comp MTs in a 35, 12 and a half, and he's got a three-inch leveling uh, suspension kit. No notes in here, but I assume we're talking like a Ready Lift SST kit or something. You can pick those up for a couple hundred bucks. So, mm. black on black truck, Raptor grill up front. Uh, doesn't look like a ton else. I can't believe he's stuffing that wheel and tire in there, by the way. Look how close that is. It's pretty tight. I don't know that I like that. Yeah. Decent looking truck though, you know, for like a little daily driver. Yeah. I would get my wife something like that. 
<laughs> Jesus. Not a lot of notes in here, Josh. So I think uh, let's dive right into right. it. Let's uh, let's write it. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, nine. Five. I mean, I figured, yeah. right? Yeah. Not exactly your cup of tea here. Well, it's. I mean, it's a clean looking truck. It's nice. It's, you know, to me, it's not our demographic. It's not something really that screams it's functional off-road. Right. You know, you can go hit the trails with it. The, you know, you're probably gonna end up with wheel damage after the first mile off-road. You know, and the ride's probably not gonna be very comfortable with the low profile tires. Yeah, and... you wouldn't wanna bounce it off the rocks by any means. Yeah. I mean, some guys do, I guess, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it looks good. I think for like a daily driver type setup, it's nice. Uh, I dig those Gladiators a lot. Banker had those, excuse me, on his uh, Silverado when he had it. We took them all the way to Minnesota. They rode good. They were relatively quiet for aggressive as they are. And then that 547 is just a classic looking wheel for us, man. That, that 2212 looks good. It's mm -hmm. not super big, but it's big enough. It, it looks big on the truck. I dig it, so. Can you make those in 17s? Uh, not the 547. They do make- mm. I do like the Like the 544s and a, a couple of the smaller, 17 by nines, I think, mm. yeah. Side note, we, sh we should talk. I bought a yeah. new daily. Oh, we nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need some wheels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we've got a 2021 Ford Bronco. This one is on 1552 Turbo mm. Mac HDs and a 17 by eight and a half. We have Goodrich uh, KO2s, of course, the granddaddy of Baja tires, right. and a 33, 12 and a half, mm -hmm. and a two and a half inch suspension lift kit. I dig this thing. Yeah, yeah you can really get these Broncos to look quite beefy. Yeah. The sports. Blah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> especially stock form. Oh, it just it looked like a Kia or something like yep, that. But once yep, you start yep. putting some. Hey, I liked my Kia when I had it. Cut. <laughs> 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 but no, these are these are pretty nice. This looks like the 5052, the yeah. HDs. Uh, I like what they did with those. They made them a little bit more beefier. They gave the assimilated look to them. And of course the, the KO2s, you know, you're all around. Just hit yeah. the trail, hit the road, hit the snow, hit whatever you want with them. They're gonna hold up, give you plenty of traction. And give you 60,000 miles to boot because they're just KO2s mm -hmm. and they're like magic or something. I'm yeah. not really sure. Yeah, yeah I dig it. If, if you were at SEMA at all or saw any footage from SEMA this year, then you'd know that there was only like one or two Broncos there. 100? Um, <laughs> I, I think, uh, was it Car Throttle or somebody counted? There was 95 and a half of them. There was one that was like stripped apart and it was only half the half the Bronco, but uh, yeah, there's it's like crazy. 95 in there. They're everywhere you look, but they look really good. They look good, simple. They mm -hmm. look good, super aggressive. So, I mean, I dig this. Again, yeah. daily driver type setup, so. Yeah, very nice. Ready to rate it? I'm ready. All right, three, yeah. two, one, seven. 8.5. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice it's a nice setup. I think it looks good. Yeah, I dig the uh, the front bumper brush guard uh, mm -hmm. like the stinger loop on the front yep. there looks looks good. I yeah, think. it's nice and clean. It's you know all one solid color on the paint. Yep. So red in the windshield frame, and then it's uh, everything else is black. So that's a nice cool kind of combo themed color that they have going on there. Nice and clean. You know, an off road vehicle to get a clean look. You know, it's. There's a balance there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you don't want definitely. to get too gaudy with it. Most Start definitely. Start piling on too much stuff to make it look all gaudy. And this individual did a pretty nice job. Yeah, it looks good, man. Mm -hmm. All righty. Up next, talking about brand new Fords, we've got a brand new 2021 Ford Ranger mm. on hardcore off-road HC13s and a 20 by 10. Uh, fierce Attitude MTs and a 35, 12 and a half sure. with a six inch suspension uh, lift kit made by Rough Country, of course. Uh, okay. Don't hate me. <laughs> don't hate me. I don't, <laughs> I don't hate anybody. I don't. I don't know how I feel about the new Rangers. Mm. I don't know if they're my cup of tea. You know why I like them? Why? First of all, I like them. I, Second I mean, of I all. I hope so because you asked why, if I knew why you liked them. <laughs> so if you were like, I actually don't like them, I was gonna be really confused. Gotcha. No, <laughs> it reminds me of the Toyota Hilux. Oh, yeah. I see it now. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. Okay. So it's like your domesticated, you know, American version of the Toyota Hilux, which why can't we import those? I don't even I understand. Don't I mean, you can, but it's going to cost you an arm and leg. But listen, why do we not I don't know it? why Japan gets all the cool yeah. import stuff, all right? Like yeah. all the, the, the four rotors and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a whole nother conversation. We'll talk about another time. Yeah. This one's super <laughs> cool. It's got the front bumper on it with a big old winch hanging off the front. I think that is winch, like an right? Aussie front bumper on there. That's yeah, a, listen, this front thing, bumper guard. Uh, it would take out the a kangaroo. The pusher. Yeah. yeah. So I don't good up, good for up here in Wisconsin. What That's weird. Somebody's talking about you. Must be. Um, <laughs> hardcore HC13s in a 20 by 10, which is a pretty good wheel size, I think, on this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not too big, it's right. not too small. It kind of looks proportional, right. this thing. I can't get over how big that front yeah. catcher is. That is huge. <laughs> That's a big. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
But yeah, six inch lift kit on this thing. Um, it's a Weston Ooh, brush guard. Turbo Smart dual port blow off valve. Ooh, okay, a little performance yeah. parts in there, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, custom tune, uh, auto stop eliminator, weather tech, wind deflectors. Listen, those are the best things you can ever put in your truck. Mm. I love mine. Mm -hmm. uh, toolbox, um, looks like he's even got notes about the, the black platinum letters on the tailgate and he's got the tailgate assist, which is nice. Well done. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty well done overall. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go back to this picture right here. Let's rate this thing. Okay. Three, two, one, seven six. and a half. Yeah. I, Only because of the color. Okay. All right. I love this thing. It looks great. The guy did a really nice job dressing this up. The wheels are a little bit yep. bigger than I like to, you know, get a little bit more meat on the tires. But other than that, everything else looks pretty cool. The, the front bumper guard, it's a, it's a little <laughs> much, but it's, it's, it's practical, right? Because yep. then you're off roading, you're hitting branches, you're, you're hitting people, deer. I mean, oh, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> you know, things. No, I'm um, with you. So it, it definitely offers that extra protection. Um, plus, I think he's got a winch on there too. So yep. it's probably a good way to mount the winch without having to get too into it, you know, yeah, tearing out the bumper. Cut the bumper, the bumper and, apart, then right, put all that stuff exactly. in there. Exactly. Yeah. So nice job. Well done. I don't know what color that is exactly. It looks like, it looks like a, avalanche gray almost. You sea know? lime pie, sort of a yeah, light it's a green or something. I'm not really but sure. It's neat. Yeah. yeah, minor. Yeah. But otherwise, I like, I like it. I think for me, it's, it's a good setup. I think it's, it's, a good combo of being a daily driver that you can also take, you know, like for us, you could hit most of the, the forestry roads up north mm -hmm. and still be okay with those, yeah. you know. Still haul, haul a trailer, bring some gear along. Exactly. Things like that. Yep, exactly. Yeah, very cool. And last but not least, we got a 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500. Oh. Vision Rocker 20 by 12. I love that wheel so much. Kanati Mon Hog 35, 12 and a half, and a seven inch Rough Country suspension. I got lift a kit. Glare like right here. Guys. Pull that up. Oh, there, there we go. go. There you go. <laughs> so this is uh, in that deep dark maroon red that Chevy had. Um, yeah, just a, a seven inch lift kit, which is pretty good size. Looks like mm -hmm. he's got some paint to match bits up underneath there. Um, trying to see anything else I can pick <laughs> out right off the top of my head. Otherwise, let's look at some notes. Just a seven inch uh, lift kit, wheels and tires, it looks like. So pretty moderate build, I would say, in terms of like a show truck. Um, obviously he hasn't done a lot of trimming in here, which is nice um, with a 35. The unfortunate yeah. part is with square wheel wells, you have to go up seven inches to do that. So other than that, a, a decent looking little truck, yeah. I think. Yeah, not too bad. D71 package. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the I love the color match and like the, the split grill and then down all it's in clean. here that looks super good. Yeah, I think pretty sharp. Lot. Yeah. Cool. Let's rate it, Josh right. from Trail Belt. Okay. Three, two, one, seven. Six. Yeah. That was a little higher than I expected you to go, honestly. Oh yeah? Yeah, I thought this was like a four for you. I mean it's Yeah, you know, I you know it's clean. I like yep. that it's clean. You know, the, the everything's color matched in the black wheels with the black I don't know what else. Black wheels and tires. Yeah, well, it's, the tires and are all black. the suspension bits are all, you know, they're like mm -hmm. the the control arms and stuff are all black there too. Yeah, yeah, I follow. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then one of the pictures, the kind of shows off that sort of dark cherry maroonish. Oh, I love that red, color which is so pretty sharp, much like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. So mm -hmm. that looks pretty cool. It's not bad. It's uh, you know, I would have liked to see my only call it on this thing. I would have liked to see Vision makes that wheel in an anthracite gray hmm. with a black lip. And hmm. I think that that would just more set this yeah. whole truck off. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, that, that Vision Rocker is a really good wheel. It's a split spoke design. Mm -hmm. It's minus 51 offset, so it gives you a little bit more offset than your standard 12 wides. But Jesus. it's such a busy face with those multiple direct or multiple spokes yeah. that it like in black, you almost lose it, you know? That's a lot of negative offset. That's not even that wide. My, <laughs> my 14 wides are minus 76. Some of the guys are on 16 wides at 108. Why am I here? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys. There's an episode of From the Gallery. Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, today, man. Brother. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here and definitely uh, enjoyed being here. This was pretty fun. I, I like that. There's three of the trucks that, I, three of the vehicles I really enjoyed, and two of them are kind of like, eh, but, you know, to each their own. Yep. We enjoy them all. We enjoy the enthusiasts in general. Exactly. It's always fun to have a, a couple of different opinions on here. Yeah. If you guys want a chance for your truck to be rated again, you're going to want to add that to our gallery. You can do so at customoffsets.com forward slash add. And with that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so we can make an awesome content just like this one. All right. Peace. See you guys. <laughs>